So far in the AI Academy series, we've covered some of our favorite Windows features, such as Snipping Tool and ClipChamp, that have had an AI glow up. Well, it's time to round it up with our last Windows feature, Photos app. The Photos app is built into Windows 11, so no need to download anything to get started with it. But why use it? Well, picture this. See what I did there? You've just returned from an epic holiday. You've got more pictures than you can count across your phone, your camera, and your OneDrive. What do you do? Well, Photos makes it easy to gather, catalog, and edit your pictures. Here, you can see your pictures, no matter where they come from, and they can be put together in one place for easy organization. There's even this handy search bar at the top for quickly finding a photo you may have lost. Connecting my Photos app with my OneDrive account unlocks even more than just collating all my pictures in one handy place. I love to reminisce, and OneDrive Memories is perfect for resurfacing pictures based on a snapshot in time or specific OneDrive albums. My favorite has to be looking through the On This Day album so I can browse through exactly what I was up to last year, the year before, and the year before that. So all my holiday photos are collated, but I'm not exactly a pro photographer. So some of these haven't come out exactly how I want them. Well, Photos makes getting your pictures pixel perfect easier than ever. You can crop, straighten, or adjust the lighting of photos you just took, and AI enhancements make it even easier. To start editing, just head to the picture you want to edit. I'm gonna use one of my many images of my cat Nix here as an example. Just head to the ribbon up top and hit edit image. Now we have all our editing options that I just mentioned, but let's focus on the AI enhancements. If I just want a quick touch up that takes seconds, I can use auto enhance. Just click on filters, then auto enhance. This makes adjustments to saturation, lighting and contrast to make my picture pop just that little bit more. Are the results too intense though? Just use the slider here to dial it down. Looking better already. But I'm not a fan of half of this picture frame being in the image. However, I also just don't want to crop the image. So I'm going to use Generative Erase. Generative Erase is an in-preview feature that helps to remove unwanted distractions or spot fix an image with the power of AI. To use it, just hit the Erase button in the ribbon and then select your brush size. And if you want Auto Erase on, I'm going to have it on for this example as I want to quickly remove this picture frame. Then just draw straight over what you want to remove and done. Actually, I've changed my mind and I just want to remove the background completely so that I can use this picture elsewhere. So time to go to background and here are the options to blur, remove or replace the background. I'm going to remove and there we go. However, if I want to tweak this background removal, I can turn on the background brush tool and erase or restore more of the background image. And with that, we're all wrapped up with the Photos app and all about Windows AI features. And next week, we're even going to be rounding up the entire first phase of AI Academy. To make sure you're notified as soon as that's released, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. For now though, I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.